Hi, welcome to ETL testing tutorial. So let's take a look on the course details and what all things we will be covering in our entire course. So first of all, as we know that the course is of 27 hours and we are starting with the introductory video of ETL. Before I go through the prerequisites of ETL testing and the different ETL tools available in the market, I need to explain you the term ETL, how it works. First of all, as we know that the data is scattered at different places from where we need to collect them and put the data into a single piece that is known as the staging area. So here in the staging area, we need to modify the data, the validate the data, then the data gets populated into a single place that will be known as our target data warehouse. Okay, and the target data warehouse will be within a single database. Fine. So this is the simple term of ETL. Now, after this is done, what happens is, see, within this process, there are some more subterms which you need to know. They are like you must know what are the concepts of BI, similarities and differences between database and data warehouse. And see, as we know that the data comes from different, different places. That means those different places or those different sources may contain data in different databases. So you must have a hold on different databases. So in our entire course, we will be also explaining about SQL installation and its commands. So SQL is a database, of course. So we'll explain you how to go with the commands of a SQL. I'm explaining all the commands of SQL within this concepts like the constraints the clauses and the operations even the ordering and the group by clause different different clauses are also explained over here the concatenation string functions as well as the aggregate functions are also described after the concept SQL concepts are over we'll also go through the second part of SQL constraints uh, sorry the concepts which will be containing the ranking functions, the joins and a different kind of comparison operators and some more terms. Okay. So after we are done with the database, we need to come with an ETL tool. As I explained you the whole term that we extract data from different different sources and then we put the data in a staging area. And here we are going to validate the data or modify the data, make the changes. So how are we going to do this? We are going to do this with the help of an ETL tool. So here the ETL tool which I am going to use is Informatica. The Pass Enter Informatica is an integration tool which is very popular to integrate or modify the data and make changes which are needed. So here, I'll not only explain you how to install Informatica, I'll also explain you how to install Oracle, which is another database. I'll tell you how to map Oracle with Informatica, how to make the compatibility between this database and the ETL tool. After that, I'll explain you how to create a backup and how to restore your backup in Informatica. See, whenever you create some kind of project or if you create uh, transformation if you are working with some source data and you are creating some transformation and then you modify the data and the whole project is done after that you need to share this data with another person so for this you can create a backup of this data and then you can send it to the another person and that very person can restore the backup data so I'll tell you how to do that practically, how to create a backup and how to share it with some person so that they can restore it in their system. We'll learn about that as well as we'll learn about different data sources that are accepted in Informatica. See, as we know that Informatica is an ETL tool and that very ETL tool is acceptable to different kind of flat files as well as database files. So you need to create connection string for the database files. For flat files, you can similarly go with the uh, connection string uh, or go with the menu of the source files where you can connect with them. 
and after this is done we'll come to the transformation where the modifications will be done see informatica is smart enough to work with java transformations uh, aggregate transformation there are different different transformation which could be performed in informatica to modify the data or to validate the data after this is done um see informatica is not that much limited to work with the source or the transformation it is smart enough to work with the triggers the procedures and the normalizers so we'll learn how to apply a trigger how to create a procedure uh, within informatica how to work with them as well as we'll work with the slowly changing dimensions in informatica and then i'll work with the import and export client objects how you can do that. then we'll also cover a sample project i'll discuss it about in project information and uh, then comes the tableau reporting tool see after the whole process is done that means from data source up to target area what i'm talking about is see we extract data from different sources then we transform the data in a staging area after this is done we transfer the data into a target data warehouse so this is the first process the basic process after that what happens when the data is loaded in the data warehouse it is transferred into the bi reporting tool so here the bi reporting tool which i am going to use is tableau tableau is a reporting tool which will be helpful for creating the reports so that it can be modified or um it can be presented in a readable format so that it can solve all the business queries which are arising okay if you have um seen the first three videos you might uh, understand the concept of etl what i'm talking about so go through these three videos these are totally free you can understand the concepts of etl what do etl do what all are the etl tools then only you will be able to understand the concept the complex concepts of what i'm talking about then i'll also explain you how to create dashboards and different kind of highlighters joins and we'll also learn how to blend data in tableau the dual access comparison very important topic of tableau and then we'll move to the data management in tableau how you can manage your data using filters merge and calculated fields how you can perform aliasing in uh, tableau we'll also explore all of these things the pivot is very important and how to create hierarchy groups or how to spread the records will understand all of these concepts not only this will also create another project in tableau so here i will be um, working with three projects one will be in sql other one will be in informatica and the next one is of tableau our course will also add up some more um, details about pantaho also so i may add some more projects uh, in pantaho and here is the end to end project and then comes ssis that means sql server integration service another tool which you need to understand the utilities of a sql server integration service we'll also learn how to use um create table in oledb another comes a different db and we'll also learn how to map the excel with csv within this platform as well so that's all these all are the utilities of our whole course and thank you for joining